Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. This is the Dipping Industry Dipcast podcast, episode number 25. Quarter century, Mark. Da, da. Uh, it's Fonzie from Dip Your Car. With me, as always, is Adam and Dan. Uh, we've got a very cool episode for you guys today. A couple things that we love to do. We've got an interview with a guy who's been around for a very long time, the May 2015 Dip of the Month winner. Um, and what else are we doing today? We're going to uh, do, obviously, one of our favorite things, which is showcase shout outs. A lot of people saw a lot of people using that hashtag Picking today. Picking up a lot of steam on those Absolutely. Love it. Love it. People are proud of their work. Showcase showdowns. <laughs> uh, we're going to touch base on a topic or two and uh, throw in some questions and then uh, pretty much wrap it up. Okay. So first and foremost, we got a guy. Uh, his name is Josh. He's been around for a very long time. Josh, you there, bud? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so you were one of the first like DYC forum bud crew. I mean, there was like five of you guys that were like the first, first members of DYC on the forums. You and Melissa and Ricky and some other guys. Now, what year was that? Do you remember? Oh, like man. 2012, I right? say it was like... Yeah, yeah, mid mid two thousand twelve. Yeah, it was like June or July. So you've been around forever. Just to throw some things down, you've you were the two thousand twelve Dip of the Year winner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've how many Dip of the Month wins do you have? I don't. Um, know. Oh, I know it's at least two, think, three. Yeah, yeah, I think it's three. I think. Because you, your yeah, your GT, your, your what was that old school one that you did with the. And I'm gonna we're gonna talk through some of your projects, but the one that had the blue one that had the orange arrows on it, that was was that a G- Volkswagen, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. A, it wasn't a GTI, it was just a Golf. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that GTI. that one dip of the year, right? It did. It yeah. did. And then did. the the car that you have now, which is a what? What is that thing? That is a Suzuki SX4. Okay, so that has that one. I think dip of the month last year, at least once, and then this year, you won dip of the month again. So the guy's got some credentials. I mean, as far as dip credentials go, there's not much more you can stack up. This guy's been around for a long time. Very good dude. Very creative individual. I mean, if you follow him, and we'll go over your social media stuff, you you don't just throw some matte black on a wheel. I mean, you're always trying to do something different, always trying to do something crazy and creative. You've Definitely got an artistic flow to you. So the first thing I want to do is kind of touch on some of, and we'll get to your dip of the month win, but some of the projects that you've done that have won some of you this, some of this stuff, because I want people to understand like the evolution of, of the project. So the first one we're going to show everybody is that golf. And was that just straight up light blue plastic dip back then? Yeah. Yeah. That was the basic, the blue, um, I don't know, the colors, I was just drawn to it, and <laughs> so I had to use that as a base. Yeah, there weren't that and, many uh, colors back then, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, back in early 2012. So you've got light blue on this car. You did, and a lot of a lot of the pieces that you do, uh, you know, get set apart specifically because of your airbrushing technique. I mean, not a lot of people on the, on the dipping community airbrush. I know London from Dip Hawaii definitely throws some of that down and it it can just kind of throw you in a whole nother league because from an art from an artistic point of view if you're going to use a dipped car as a canvas there's only so many things that you can do on top of that base in order to get a a mural or a portrait or something going so how long have you been airbrushing oh man years and yeah it's been uh, probably a little over 10 years so before you've been dipping obviously Uh Oh, oh yeah. And are oh, you yeah. running? Yeah, was, uh, are you running dip through the airbrush when you're doing these, or are you running paint yeah, over it? Yeah. Well, at first, like with with the golf, at first it started out as the acrylic paint because I didn't really. I mean, it was my first couple of times dipping a car, so I didn't really know what I was doing with the airbrush and mm-hmm. dip. So I really just threw acrylic paint through it, and then after after that, I look. I just thought, and I was like, you know, it would be so much cooler. If I, I mean, anyone can take paint through an airbrush mm-hmm. and paint something. People have been doing it for years and years. But if I could take this plastic dip, spit it out a little bit, throw it through an airbrush, then, hey, maybe we'll be on something. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's, that's what kind of when it started. And, and this was a perfect example. People knew that once you did this project 
And it was different than anything else we had seen at that time. I mean, there's no doubt about that. So you got the blue, you've got the airbrushing down the side of, with the mural, you've got the orange to kind of accent it. That was a, a really cool project that stood out for a very long time. Nothing really kind of came close to that throughout that year because everything in 2012 was very basic. People were just wrapping their heads, excuse me, around the idea of dipping cars. Now, last year, your Suzuki, what is this, an SX4? Yeah. Okay. Um, you you did a job last year that won Dip of the Month again. This is a very complex little car. I mean, it's got a lot of angles to it. It's a very aggressive little build. I'm not even very familiar with this car. I haven't seen it very much at all, um, which actually yeah. kind of adds to mm -hmm. the the allure of it. It's got some interesting window panels up front that you never see. It's 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 little aggressive little hatchback. So last year. You did like a gold, you've got this hex pattern going down a third of it, and then this blue splashing coming in, super clean lines. I mean, talk me through the, some of the technique that you use to get those patterns on the car. Um, the patterns, I think. Well, uh, the car was actually supposed to be orange, and um, I added a little too much gold to it. So okay. It ended up being gold, but um, the uh, I did the hexagon pattern underneath the splash, so... So I laid the gold first, and then I actually cut like little hexagon stencils out of vinyl to mm. put on on each side. I mean that took forever, but and then I took a ghost gold pearl and I just went the whole way around the car. I just wanted the hexagons to be a little subtle, like offset. Right. And then the same thing with the uh, with the splatter. What I did is I cut some some custom stencils out of vinyl that I drew it myself and, uh, and <laughs> that was the most difficult I still I think to today that, I, that I've done with, yeah. the, with the stencil it was very hard to get that splatter to line up like around the car and the edges and oh man <laughs> Dude. But, but what I did was I just made stencils and, and I ended up just spraying it and what color um, was used on the back end the back end it had a black base and then I actually had some some sample like chameleon pearls that were just laying around. I just mm -hmm. kind of threw a bunch together and just like threw it back there. And it ended up being like a, a purple to like a dark navy bluish like color. I, I'm not there. sure what it would have looked like with the orange. I I do think it looks super clean with the gold though. It looks kind of like a. It reminded me of like a honeycomb type. Of exactly. Look. Yeah, it's exactly what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. I mean, if you're if you're gonna do a job to stand out, I mean that's. That's right up the alley of what you want to be doing. So then to continue to evolve, same car, the 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 dip job that you did to win this this past month's dip of the month is it's funny, it goes from like levels of crazy from here to here. And then the <laughs> next one continues to go up, which is exactly what you want to do, I'm sure. You don't you don't want to go down. I'm sure that you can do a simple and clean dip job and people would really appreciate it. But as far as the custom work, um, Man, I mean, let's just start with this. What was the inspiration behind this job here? Um, okay. Well, actually, I would say probably about a year ago, I was um, airbrushing a license plate for someone and just regular paint, but they wanted a Galaxy background on the plate. And so I ended up doing that for them and did a bunch of pictures. And then over time, I kept looking at it and I was like, man, it'd be so cool to like throw it out on the car. I really want to do it. And then I see everyone posting, like, you know, the picture of the Lamborghini with the vinyl wrap, and I'm like, mm -hmm. some people are saying it can't be done with dip, and mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> That's it. Like, I'm going to draw the line between what can and cannot be done. And I mean, you can really do anything if you if you practice that and work hard. So Yeah, it's a, time, it's a matter of yeah. cashing in time and energy. And you have to have the skill set, of course. You can't just grab an airbrush for your first time yeah. and expect a right. perfect result. But if you have the skill set, if you put the time and energy into it, you could essentially do, especially with the help of certain stenciling and stuff, almost mm -hmm. anything. Um, so yeah. you've got yeah. very bright wheels, very bright wing in the back, and then just this combination, this kind of orchestra of stars and comets and galaxies and, and all this crazy stuff coming. How much time went into this job? Um, honestly, I would say it's probably, I would probably only spend about 18, 20 hours on it. Yeah. Like well. total from start to finish. Jeez. Man. Um, 
and both yeah it was definitely a lot of like detailed like straight straight through work but yeah it actually didn't take very long and is it kind of free flowing like on the left side doesn't match the right side and and back and forth right yeah okay yep yeah it's it's crazy i mean it's just one of those things it's perfect example of when yeah like he said you have somebody that looks at something and goes well it's vinyl it can't be done with dip mm-hmm. well you know, there's a certain level, there's a certain handful of people out there that have skill sets, you know, that are just different than everybody else's and are willing to take the risk because you can, you can have the ability to do this, Mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean people are going to do it. Oh, I remember somebody actually saying something like this, that it couldn't be done. And, and somebody tagged Josh in it, I think in the community or anonymous and, and Josh even had said, Oh, just wait. Yeah. I, you know, I have something up it, my sleeve. Sometimes that's all it takes. Right. Sometimes it te- it just takes somebody yeah. who's creative or a little bit um, motivated for, so- for you to say, you know, you can't do that. Right. Maybe that's not what he wanted. Maybe he didn't sit and sleep at night thinking, man, I can't wait to do a galaxy theme. But when somebody tells you, you can't do that, that's the type of person who's going to be like, ah, that's that, man. That's, I'll just do it for for spite. Right. You know, and sometimes it's just a statement, you know, it's, it, this is what can be done. Now, you do a lot more than than just dipping. Um, I, I want people to be able to follow you because you do a ton of cool designs for T-shirts, decals. You've got like one of those jack of all trades mentality on the digital side. If people want to follow you on Instagram, what's your Instagram right now? My Instagram is at simply custom with a K. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, you can follow me there. And, and I'll spell that out for people. I've been following him on Instagram for a very long time now just to see the, the, the kind of quirky stuff that he comes up with. And you have a website as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's simplycustom.com. Yeah. And is, is there stuff that you're selling on there at this time? Uh, say that again? Are you selling stuff on, on the website right now? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, right now it's it's kind of slow. I'm a, a very have very little time to to do a whole lot, but you know. I but mean, you do have shirts and and things like that. People can kind of sift through there, and a lot of dipping and liquid wrap related uh, shirts and and cool designs and stuff like that. So if you have time when oh, you're done listening course, to the show, yeah. um, jump onto his website and check it out. And I, I was showing Adam earlier. He was looking at some of the shirts. Like, damn, man, that is definitely some cool stuff. Um, I think people would definitely enjoy wearing some of this stuff. You know how people, when they're in the community, they want to represent the community. They want to kind of show their colors. And I think this would be very cool for it. So here's the real question. How long do you think you're going to rock this galaxy theme? And then what do you have planned after that, if anything? Well, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm definitely going to rock it for a little while. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've noticed I don't really change the car a whole lot, like, yep. very often. Mm-hmm. But um, I'll probably change it before winter. And um, honestly, I have so many different concepts in my head that I have no idea exactly what I'm going to do. But mm. I definitely can feel a full carbon fiber pattern car coming up. Really? So oh, cool. We will see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully somebody will just say, oh, well, you Josh, can't do you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it's going to take. We'll just have Dan send you a private message every two days or so saying you can't pull it off and just push you to it. But, dude, like I said, you've been around for a long time, very talented individual, um, always helpful. It's one of those guys that you got to appreciate because, yes, he can essentially do things that other people um aren't necessarily comfortable or, or capable of doing and he's been doing it for a long time mm-hmm. but instead of falling into that elitist mode right he's always been helpful he's always been um you know supportive helping people mm-hmm. he gets the community vibe it's like you know we have the dyc community facebook group some people don't fit that mold and it's five seconds later they're never gonna they're never gonna be back when once we identify who fits the mold and who doesn't josh is one of those guys who's been around a long time and he definitely fits the mold and he helps people out and i'm definitely excited to see what you have in, uh, coming down the pike in the future. So thank you very much. Congratulations on the dip of the month win. Hey, thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate it. No problem at all, brother. And I'm sure I'll talk to you very soon. Yep. You, you guys take care. All, all right. Thanks, too, Josh. Man. Bye. See, I think uh, next next concept should be a, a hamburger shir- uh, shirt car. Tell him he can't do that. Josh, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs>
five, 50% chance he comes out of a hamburger themed car. <laughs> I, I put the uh, the statistics a little bit lower than that. But... You got to be careful with things that you challenge people on because Absolutely. you don't want them to do it just to do it. And then the poor guy's rocking a hamburger themed car. Hey, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Everybody loves a good hamburger. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. <laughs> um, what do we got next? All right. So why don't we just, do you want to move on to showcase shout outs? Yeah, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I took your, th- I stole your, th- I, mean, once, I stole your thunder. Right once, there. <laughs> once the, de- once the graphics come up, there's no turning back. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly enough, the graphics are added after the show, <laughs> so, but in theory. Uh, so I wanted to switch it up a bit. Okay, I didn't prep you for this because it doesn't really matter. But uh, I wanted to change the th- the format of the showcase shoutouts for a bit. I thought if we, um, and I'm opening what we have here for them i thought that if we spend a little less time on each that we'd be able to cover more uh you know what this is not on the show sheet so i don't know (laughs) if i'm giving this the uh the go ahead that's okay um we have so many showcase shout out hashtags it was great it's awesome and i want to help i mean man what we do is we give people some limelight and we show them everybody what they've done. And we give them a little bit of um, notoriety. Is that the yeah, word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just we give them a spotlight and let people, you know, let a them be proud out. of what they're doing. We give them a showcase shout out. <laughs> and uh, the the feedback that I've been getting from them is so appreciative. Right. It makes me feel so good that they feel good that right. I want to help more people. I want to, I want to do it for more people. So right. I thought, well, we only have so much time. We don't want this to be a 48-minute episode. Right. So if we just run through them a little bit faster, right. we can cover more people. So instead of four this week, I've got six. And uh-huh. let's see how that goes. Boom. Okay. First showcase shout out, our boy Jesse. Jesse from Dippers and Honest. Mm-hmm super clean did a very interesting mix 50 percent flash color shift which mixed, you love which i love that color with that pearl 50 percent flash color shift with 50 percent uh pure gold alloy over a black base coat using the dyc top coat on his infinity it looks great it's like taking flash and removing a little bit of the rose ro- the rose red and bringing some of the browns and coppers up and toning the golds mm-hmm. down very very cool we've had a ton of people in the past couple of weeks email and and with that with pictures of his car going how how the heck did he mm-hmm. t- did he get that color and uh he should be very proud of that very cool i know he likes bright colors and it's super super clean and classy so jesse should be very happy with that next showcase shout out ricky chico guy's been around forever mm-hmm. love that kid um He's got like a little dual showcase shout out. Right, that, right. That he actually show. asks. He's like, <clears throat> oh, can, can I tag multiple cars? I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah, you can showcase shout out whatever you want. Uh, and this is himself and Bob Jones. Uh, he's got, uh, I think, a, there's a Corvette with cotton candy color shift, mm-hmm. which is a very interesting color. And then you've got the, his Audi with GC47. Mm-hmm. Very interesting because they're, they're very similar colors. Right. Like GC, more br- uh, blues and greens coming out. The, the cotton candy, more blues and, and purple, like that pinkish stuff coming out. Very cool combo. And uh, and Ricky's been rocking that GC47 like a champ for a long time. Holds up great. And he's always a good um, uh, representative or mm-hmm. ambassador for the dipping world. I always see him posting stuff everywhere. He loves showing that car. Absolutely. I mean, I, months ago, I remember in the winter him taking, you know, I, I don't know if he works in an office or whatever, taking pictures of his car out in the lot and, oh, find my car. Or, yep. You know, no matter where I park, there's somebody parked right next to me. Yep. Touch my car or whatever. Um, <laughs> next one is, um, and I want to just make sure of something real quick, if I may. Hashtag showcase shout out. Fail. Not fail. <laughs> Delay. <laughs> what are you taking? Uh, just put the graphic up again. It's fine. Showcase shout out. Showcase shout out. Um, Bruce Malpica with a really cool little combo. He took he made his own Martian blurple, which mm-hmm. doesn't exist. He took Martian blue, Martian violet, mixed them together. I believe had a 50-50 uh, on on a Honda, and very cool color. And you know what? He, you could tell from the pictures he did it right. White pearls can go very wrong very quickly. Right. And um, you know. 
at this point, I think he should be very, very happy with that color because you just don't see Martian Blurp at all. People don't play with the white pearls very much. They're right. too scared to do that. Um, and he should be very proud of that. Super, super cool. Um, next showcase shout out, Darren Luecki. Mm -hmm. Just gangster, burnt copper alloy Tesla Model S. Mm -hmm. It looks awesome. I mean, it's just everything that burnt copper alloy is. Bright, bold, solid. It's clean as hell. I mean, I love. I, I had a couple of Teslas, and I wasn't a big fan of that car back then. I think mm -hmm. it had a couple bugs that needed to be worked out. I was one of the people who had some of the very uh, early models. Um, but, man, this car came out so good. And the lines on that car can pull off any color. And right. I think it pulls off the burnt copper very, very well. Uh, then we got Michael Clark. With a big old GMC truck. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool blue. And the reason why I wanted to get this one out there is because it's a guy who just took a bunch of stuff that was similar mm -hmm. and just shoved it together and made an awesome, awesome color. So he used a flex blue base. Then he used a gallon of pearlizer on top of the flex blue base, which is like that gloss fire with the white mica. So a gallon right. of pearlizer. Then a gallon of top coat with a half a gallon of flex blue and 75 grams of sapphire blue. So if I'm reading this right and he can always, you know, uh, chime in via comment or whatever, it looks like he put pearlizer, top coat, flex blue, and the 75 grams of sapphire blue together mm -hmm. and threw that over flex blue. Super clean. I love that. Very classic. I, I love that one. And I was yeah, hoping. Yeah, you said that for a long time. Yeah, I was hoping when I, I saw that and I was like, you know what, dude, just hashtag it, hashtag yeah. it. And then uh, we have one more, I think. No. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have one more. Um, late entry. And this is from, like, literally... Got a hold of it just at the nick of time. This is from Matthew Shanks. Blaze yellow mm. over a motorcycle, and I should know the model, but I don't. Um, and I don't think too many people necessarily care about that, about the model. Um, so I'm not even going to bother looking it up at the moment. Um, but very, very sharp. I mean, ev everything that essentially could be dipped or actually should be dipped on this bike is dipped. The the wheels, fairings, every you know, a lot of different pieces of this of this dip uh, a bike are dipped. You know, say what you will about Blaze Yellow. I mean, maybe he threw some Glossifier with Fade Buster over it to make sure it doesn't fade, and that would be a very smart idea. But either either way, when Blaze Ye Yellow is in its true form it is there's nothing brighter on right on the planet and i mean i feel like that just it's a fast bike it's a yeah. it's a fast looking color it, everything know? about it looks fast it looks right. like it's going 100 miles an hour it's just sitting in his driveway right beautiful beautiful so congratulations to everybody we try to get as many of those out as we can and um there's just so many good ones to pick from and and everybody who th i'll tell you what the value of putting the showcase shout out hashtag is twofold one if we get the timing right and we're able to identify your 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 project and we think it fits, you got an opportunity to to get on the dip cast and for us to show your work to everybody. The other piece to that is if you just go on Facebook and search for the sh for the hashtag showcase shoutouts, you're going to see a ton of sick dip jobs as mm -hmm. it is. So it's almost like a way of saying, I want to see some finished, really nice dip jobs. Let me go on to Facebook and and hashtag and look for that hashtag. Whole bunch of stuff right there for you to look virtual, at. Virtual virtual dipping museum. Yeah, think on that. Think on that. <laughs> Dan, Dan knows what I'm talking about. I liked it. Yeah, I, I appreciated it. Yeah, absolutely. You go to a museum to look at things that are nice and, and old. Well, I mean, not necessarily old. Database. Not necessarily. I like I'm museum move. better. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank no you. Problem. No problem. I, I'm the idea man over here. <laughs> That's. I'm going to move past that. <laughs> I'm going to move right past it. All right, what's next? Uh, so I feel like we'll move on to some questions. Uh, first, I wanted <laughs> you to... feel like? Yeah, I feel like it. All right. Well, <laughs> you're doing whatever you want. <laughs> exactly. So just ride with it. Uh, so I wanted to know... Um, you wanted to know? Yeah, I wanted to know. Okay. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about self-thinning gallons? 
Uh, I mean, this is a, a topic that we've been covering multiple times. And if I was able to phone Luke in right now, I'd just patch him in and let him handle this. Um, self-thinning gallons is what we used to do in the beginning before PDS existed. Uh, it's not wrong. It's it's not something that you should be ashamed of or that we, people should make fun of you for. But it's just not the best way to do it. Right. Uh, you're self-thinning full-strength PDS. If you think that, or PD, if you think that the difference between full-strength Plasti Dip and PDS is just some extra thinner, you're terribly, terribly misinformed. There's a lot more that goes into PDS than just full-strength Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is meant for tool handles and dipping and that type of thing. Look at the label. PDS is an automotive refinish. It was completely reformulated to be an automotive refinish. It grips the surface different. It peels different. The durability and longevity are different. It has UV protection, which the other doesn't. It's properly pigmented. It feels better. It has a little bit better um, anti-mar protection and feels slicker. I'm not saying that Th that nobody on the planet Earth should ever self-thin plastic it, but it should be by far a, 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 not a last resort, but you should only be doing that if you can't get your hands on PDS. PDS is, is the right tool for the job. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I'll, I'll over-exaggerate, but yeah, you could perform surgery with a steak knife. It's not the best way to do it. It's not the proper tool for the job. That's weird because I was thinking cutting a steak with a butter knife. It's weird that you went with that a similar type of metaphor. Yeah, I guess we're just connecting <laughs> at the dome today. Um, so that's all I'm going to say. P if you can get, if you have access to PDS, trust me, use PDS. Right. We used self thinned for a very long time. We've left it on cars for a very long time. And we've used PDS for a very long time. I'll just say this. the When you peel a self thinned car, and you peel a PDS car both after the same period of time, if it's after several months, they are not peeling the same. Mm -hmm. Self-thin PDS is going to be much drier, much more brittle. There, there's it's a just not the same. The reason, there was a reason that PDS evolved into what it is. Yeah, there's a reason it exists. Right. So moving on. I don't want right. to harp on that. Right. If you have any other questions, PM Luke LeVay and he'll set you straight. <laughs> uh, Sage... Sage uh, wants to know, uh, do you think that you could get a glossier finish by using top coat in your, almost as like a base? Like almost, for example, lay four coats of black and then two uh, top coat uh, layers and then mix pearls with that. I know Phillips did something similar to that. And yeah. Had outstanding results. Yeah. The reality is, yeah, you're going to get a glossier finish mm -hmm. because you're just building up more layers of that gloss product. If you did on one car or on say on one side of the hood or one panel, four coats of black PDS, three coats of pearl in top coat, and then three coats of gloss top coat on top. On the other side, th four coats of black PDS, two coats of clear gloss, three coats of your your um, pearl with the top coat, and then another three gloss. You've got three more layers of gloss or two more layers of gloss on the car, so the gloss is thicker. It's going to have more depth. It's going to be glossier because you're going to have more gloss over the matte color than vice versa. So it's not required. Um, but yeah, you, for, let's just say this. For microflakes, definitely suspend the microflakes in gloss over gloss. If you have the extra product and you have the extra time, suspend the pearls in gloss mm -hmm. over gloss. It, you're going to get a glossier result if that's what you're going for. Right. Right. And when you say gloss... You're referring to the top coat. Top. Everything I'm talking about is dip your car, dip pearl top coat. Right. Okay. 100%. Cool. And then uh, I think probably last question for the day. Uh, Pablo wanted to know, what are your thoughts on obviously not being able to ship gallons to California at this time? What are your thoughts on people buying Plasti Dip outside of California and bringing it into California? Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to just be as correct as I can and just say that um, you have to be careful with what you're doing. I, I would never publicly say, dude, buy it in wherever and ship it in. If it's not compliant where you live, 
you know, you're not supposed to have it. Mm -hmm. And you can't say, well, Fonzie told me it'd be cool. Like nobody cares what I say at that point. If you're talking about regulations and compliance, man, those are dangerous roads to, to tap dance on. Um, be careful. Gee. And I know that people have done it. We don't condone it. We don't help people do it, Mm -hmm. but you know, at the end of the day, you just got to be careful. The fines and, and, and the, the penalties for stuff like that are not a joke. Right. Um, if you make a, uh, an adult decision that your choice is to buy it outside of California and bring it in, you have to be prepared to handle the consequences for that. Just like anything else that you do that's not that's not following the rules. So, I mean, man, just be a little bit more patient if you can. Right. I, my guess was third quarter of 2015, we would have an answer and a solution for California residents. And I stick by that. Mm-hmm. I don't know what quarter we're in now. Are we in second Second. One? So yeah, I stick by that. Right. Third quarter, I I fully intend to have a solution for California. Well, that's some great news, and I I know yeah. I I when people call regarding that, I say you know we don't have a direct timeline where I can say such and such a date, but I say follow Fonzie on Instagram, follow on Facebook, mm-hmm. follow Dip Your Car on Facebook because you do tease oh, yeah. things, and I mean the Dip Pearl Top Coat you were teasing for months before it was actually available, so you know there. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to say this on the air right now. It's Wednesday. Uh, I'll probably have a pretty darn cool teaser up by the end of this week. Okay. One of those saying something but not saying something mm-hmm. teasers. So keep your eye on my Instagram. Okay, cool. Yeah. You want to plug your Instagram? I'm just going to put in big letters right over your face right now. <laughs> All right. And yeah. uh, he actually also had a follow-up question Pablo did. He wanted to know, are Cali Dippers eligible to win Dipper of the Month? The Dipper of the Month? Or uh, Dip of the Month, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, it, I mean, this is probably... Uh, maybe you're starting your uh, own contest. <laughs> I, I don't know. You got a lot going on over there. Um, yeah, they're eligible. I'm not going to... That's not my position. Mm-hmm. I, I can't investigate. I'm not a detective. Um, my job is to sell product in areas where it's compliant. If you got your hands on some, if you submit a picture, I'm not, it's not our job to dig into where the picture came from or, or what, you know, one thing or another. Um, you're eligible to, to participate in contests, but please be careful. All right. Well, I mean, that was a pretty, pretty good episode. I thought. Yeah. We're run, going up right over, uh, the 32 minute mark. We got everything really? handled. That time that we flies want. So quick. It's like a time warp. It's, it's crazy. Hopefully it's that way for you guys too. And you we know, noticed for, for Dan. Opposite. Absolutely. How many <laughs> levels did you get in candy crush today? Oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah. He didn't actually play at all. So next week, I think we're covering, uh, uh, featured in store of the month. We'll have an interview with whoever wins that. I don't know who it's going to be yet, but it'll be somebody interesting. Probably. And probably a nice guy. Or a girl. Good guy or girl. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, episode 25, um, you're supposed to get a new chair. You know what? This Life is... happens in mysterious ways because I had a very good chair and you had a very... It wasn't crappy. Let's it was. Be honest. It was. No, it wasn't. Flat out was. It wasn't crappy. It just... It w- it didn't recline. Didn't have the bells and whistles that you're well, And And I promised you I'd... I'd essentially, the, uh, the commitment was to even us out. Mm-hmm. And no, 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 what no, no, happened? That is, that is felonious. <laughs> no, it's not. There's going to be a lot of angry. There's space listeners. restriction in the there new is, there is. studio. I, I understand. If that. if I, if we could fit king size luxurious sofa chairs here, there'd be one I on would. that side of the table <laughs> and not one on this side. That is of the table. blasphemy. So anyway, we uh we both have the same chair, and I'll make this commitment to the nation right now. If I get a better chair, you'll get the same chair. All right. And then Dan will be on a bar stool. No, no, no. See, no. he's sitting in my old chair. Like yeah, king <laughs> exactly. All right. Recline. We will. <laughs> look at that. Should have a camera on him now. <laughs> All right. Other than that, we're good to go. Absolutely. Right. See you next week for episode 26. Man, episode 26. Got something special planned. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You know what it is? I, oh yes 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 i i think i do that's right. some exciting stuff it, it is we can't say what it is because it's still this far away from being right um announceable if that's right. a word but a lot of people will be very happy it doesn't have anything to do with a new chair it does not <laughs> <laughs>
All right.